Hello, my sunshiny friends. This is Sunshine Annie working on my DIY composition book planner. This was the spread for July 21st through the 27th and July 28th through August 3rd. And this is how this all came out. I was pretty happy with it. I like the uh, the bees and the flowers. And I used little thin strips of washi tape together here and one big piece over here. And then for the August spread, uh, this is the August um, calendar page. And I decided to put sunflowers and then I did another little sunflower here. It kind of looks weird. It looks like I messed up, but it, it's two sep. It was meant to be two separate ones. Um, I did some other flowers. Um, this is for August 4th through the 10th. I used some of my sunflower washi tape. Um, have a few things put in. I haven't put everything in yet. Um, I did put my goals in and my goals for this week are as usual being mindful of healthy eating, you know, making good choices there, drinking more water, getting in more movement or activity, and focusing on a positive mindset, including being creative, getting out in nature, and working on my mixed media art. So this is what this is looking like. Um, <clears throat> I got these pieces, these I drew, these pieces came from this um, insects, I think her name is Kate Curry, and I think the book, if you got it offline, is called, it says, I think it says insects and something else with it, but I can't remember. Anyway, these are some of the, the books that she does. I got mine off of um, Amazon. And I normally wouldn't have gotten it, but it was part of a Wanderlust thing. And I probably could have found something offline just as easy. But I do like it. Um, if you want to see, oh, oh, sorry about that. I can show you it's the page that I got. Um, those from was this one. So there was the dragonfly and the, the bee. And, and they do some interesting colors, some different different colors. And there's a lot of, of bees, which I love. And then they, they do more towards the front. Sorry about that. Towards the front, it's a lot of butterflies, which are beautiful. Plus, they have these big pages. And I, what I do is I have a color, good color copier, and I color copy them and cut them out from there. And use them. And fussy cut. You have to fussy cut out the pieces, obviously. I, you know, if you have a Xyron, you could run it through and make them stickers. I just use a glue stick and glue them in. So they do them with a multiple... Um, colors. This, there's even a black and white page, so you could color. You could color those yourself if you wanted to. But I do like, you know, that some of them are more realistic colors. So you know, you could use them and make it like if you were doing a field notebook or something like that. You could do something different that way. And again, like the the black and white. But they're really pretty. And she's got some different things in here, too, that aren't insect-related. Um, but most of it is. And I don't know... I love that page. I don't know her as an artist. I've never really looked her up to find out. <clears throat> but I do like her mixed media. I think this is... I mean, this ephemera. I do think that's... It's fun. Like, these are funky colors, but, you know, this would be fun to, I don't know, put in a, put in a journal or whatever. If you like bugs. 
and I don't mind bugs. Um, yeah, but yeah, that's what that looks like. I did work on some other, my Wanderlust mixed media this past couple of weeks. The ones that I did and I don't think you've seen are, well, these are two separate pages. This is one page, it looks like this. And what she was working on was taking a picture um, and do an image transfer. And this was, you glued it down with matte gel medium and then you um, let it dry for like 24 hours and then rubbed it off and you just get the image. And I didn't do it right, but it was fine. Um, and then, you know, we did other things on it. This one was doing, using the stamping and she was using the molding paste or the modeling paste and, um, with it white, you couldn't even see it on the page. So, uh, yeah, I ended up using, um, I believe those were watercolors and just doing them really thickly. And then I took some white gesso to really make the, the lines and stuff stand out. Anyway, those were two, and I'm not sure if you saw this. Um, we did these with jelly prints and ferns and, oops, sorry. And then she had us do some weaving, that artist did that. And I'm not even sure if I showed you this or not. This again was a jelly print. And using other things to make prints with, like it, this was a, a bottle that I had and I used the bottom of it to make prints. I think you've seen all the rest of them on here. Yeah, I think you've seen most of the rest of these. Anyway, so I've been working on those to catch them up and um, and did finish this page this week up and then started this for this next week. I hope your week went well. I hope your last couple weeks have gone well. Hope you have a great week and um, hope to touch back, get back in touch with you next weekend. Lots of love. Biggest hugs. Thank you.